G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a, you know how much I love Shimpaku Junipers. Here's a little one that's still got its bronze color from um, from winter and should just be coming back into the green uh, healthy foliage soon as spring gets better. Now this tree I've been working on for a while. You can probably see it's quite a nice little, not showing size, just a little bit taller. Um, but what I'm hoping to do is get it to a smaller size, a showing size. Now I've had some wire on it for a while and um, what I've also done is there's some dead wood in here which is a bit hard to see um, but um, what I want to try and show you is I want to try and create a smaller tree in this little bit here with a, just a little branch poking out from the back here and coming around here with some dead wood. Now what's happened also is I've, I've um, I've just been doing a lot of twisting and wiring just to get some interesting dead wood bits and pieces. Now I have a very, at the back I've got this one over here that I've twisted up and I was thinking should I create a gin in the back there um, as well or do I just airlay that off? Um, so I've got a couple of ideas, I don't know if I want to airlay that one off, I've got enough other bigger airlayers so I might actually create that into a gin and twist it up. I've got a little apex here that I thought I was going to make the tree taller but I think it's better to actually use this bit and make the apex in here with this little branch here the nice kind of semi you know cascade branch over here um, and that pretty much forms the majority of the tree I eliminate all that that's all dead have this branch coming around this way to just um, frame the dead wood there this is a nice big dead wood bit there so that's what I'm thinking to do today. Um, I'll get some bit of wire on this fine wire just to get start these smaller shoots to get in the right place to create that apex. But um, what I want to do is also remove, I use aluminium wire to make the heavy bends. Now I want to use copper to do the refinement. So it's a matter of taking all the, take on the, um, on the heavy bends, I've got um, aluminium. On this branch, I started to actually put copper wire. So I'm going to go and check all that, make sure it's all okay. But let's, um, yeah, this is a more of a creation um, video rather than me airlayering more things off and so on. Um, but what I did want to show is that I actually have been preparing this tree for all those gin work um, and for all the dead wood work. So I've been putting twists and, and bends into them so I can really make it really contorted and interesting when I make the dead wood. Um, so that's the plan today. I want to see, we'll see how this tree turns out. Um, first thing I do is pretty much Let's try and work out where the dead wood is and let's try and remove all this aluminium so we can get cracking and having a look. Right, so I just check the camera, make sure it's in the right spot when I come back. Alright, so the camera looks fine. Um, I just got some guy, some guy wires here. Maybe we'll let it spring back up. Well, it's pretty much stayed in the same spot. So that one's there in the same spot. So that's not too bad. So I pretty much guy wired some of these branches into those spots. So that's alright. So I might have lots of nice little cuttings as well. So I'll just use them as cuttings um, once I take these off. Because you know I could go and airlay this little guy off, but I don't want to airlay. I want to. I want to have a gin there. That's that's why I. That's why I put it there. And same as at the back, I want to have a gin there. So I could airlayer it, but I want to have a gin there. And that's, that's the reason I created this tree. So I'm going to gin, I'm going to get gin, gin this guy off. Um, and I think gin the back guy off, but we'll do it in, in slow in slow motion. I'm just going to cut all this aluminium. I'm actually probably going to wire this one. It's, aluminium is easier to take off. Can unwire aluminium and get rid of it, or you can come in and chop it off. Sometimes I find I'm wearing aluminium quicker than coming in and chopping it off. Um, sometimes, <laughs> unless it's really heavy, and then I just cut it all off. This is um, probably about three mil, so it's pretty easy to come off. Get rid of.
So this lower branching, as I mentioned, has copper on it, but I'll check it, make sure it's all in good in order and it's not cutting in too much. So I've been preparing this tree for a number of years to get to this point. So I'm not, I'm not probably, unless you're doing a workshop with an international, um, I don't do instant kind of trees. The internationals are awesome at doing that. You know, I can't wait to have some internationals out next year maybe, or, or in the years to come and have workshop trees with them. But for me, I've planned this tree for a while. You know, you put your bends and twists into it so that you know you'll grow into those bends and twists so that you can have the interesting genes and, and, and dead wood work whilst going with the tree. I've, you know, I've done this branch first because it was ready, started to get the apex down, you know, another year, then puts lots of gin work and, and bends and twists into it to grow in it again and again. So it's a slow process, it's a step-by-step -step process. I don't, I don't really um, like the instant bonsai because um, I don't think you can do something instantly because you don't have the, the branches in the right place at the right time. So take your time. Do one step at a time when it's ready. So maybe that's, that's one thing I've always done. Um, just cut this off. Alright, so that's, that's that ready. So, yeah. You can see this is will be way too tall, but to hide that for you, you can see that that will be a nice little, nice little apex in there. The whole tree will be going this way, which is interesting. Have all the dead wood on this side, be interesting. So, and just have this little branch here just to frame all that dead wood, because I need some sort of volume here. I think, rather than having everything on this side, I just want something to balance it just a little bit on this side. So that's the plan. Okay. All right, so let's um, let's get some. Let's do this one as a gin. I'm just gonna get some cuttings going, so all these nice ones will be cuttings. So these are nice, healthy little, nice little cuttings we'll make. So you can see that that already, you can probably see the tree, and this is the dead bit. So probably do it around here. So I just ring, I just, um, in this case, I'm just, I do the cadmium, cambium off, um, just cut around the cambium, so I don't, um, this might be hard to get off, because it's not the right, exact time of year to do this, because the, 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 um, the cambium's not flowing, the, the sap's not flowing that well just yet, when it's flowing really well, it's really easy to pull off, um, but at the moment, it's, because it's just coming out of winter, it's probably not the 100% the best to do because it just doesn't come off so easy. It's coming off. And what I could do is actually, once I've, um, once I've cleaned this off, I could put wire on it again and bend it even tighter if I want because then it's still, um, it's still fresh and you can do it. In, you know, in a couple of months' time, if I did this, that just would just come right off in one piece, usually. But I'm having to work at it a bit more. And now, if I want to lime salt for it and create that whiteness, I won't do it until summer. When it's white when it's much, um, much hotter and warmer. In summer, it will just dry it quickly. Uh, the, the, the lime top will dry very quickly, and we'll go with the white very quickly. At the moment, there's too much risk that it's going to rain. And it defeats the purpose.
How's that look? So there's a bit of dead wood there. I might actually, I'll probably be, put a bit of wire in just to get some bends and twists into it a bit more tighter, which now I can do. Um, and that should set. By, by summer that will be hard as going to be dead. So you can see, probably can see that that's the other bed, bit of wood bed. It's weathered quite nicely. That's ready for lime salt room. Um, so you've got some twists and dead bits here. Then at the back you'll have a dead and twisty bit as well. And then this guy will just pop in over here just to fill that gap. So hopefully you can start to see the, the, what it looks like. Now I've got wire on that back branch, so I've got to get that off as well. Just saw that. Now that's that can come off pretty easy. I reckon this one I'm going to have to do wire, the one at the back, because it looks still hasn't really totally set. Um, but we'll see. I'll probably redo all the jeans, or rewire all the jeans anyway. Oh no, it's pretty much set, so you can see it's pretty bent. It's still, still bent in its shape, but I think it's not bendy enough, it's not twisted enough, so. That's one thing I'll be doing. It does need to be wide and twisted and into shape. So again, let's get some of these little guys off. I don't need the little ones. Um, some of them a bit too small. Maybe the maybe this big one only for the cutting. Uh, let's have a look what it looks like now. So you can probably now see what I was trying to get to. So you can see this is now a much really cool little tree. So I'll, not, I'll have to bring that right down here. And create a much more tighter bit in there with this. Yeah, it looks really nice. I think my 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 thinking is come up gonna come up really good. So let's do this guy. So, sorry, I use my pliers and I press hard on the cambium, on the, on the branch, and it crushes the cambium. And it should be easy to peel. It'll be extremely easy in a couple of months, but at this time of year it's a bit tighter because the cambium is just starting to float. Whereas in spring and more warmer days it's really flowing and just peels right off much easier. I like to always do my different work first, and that's what I've internationals have taught me over the years um, so that's what I try and do as well that's like the most invasive piece bit of work to do you know putting some you know you're using pliers you're pulling stuff apart you know do that do that work first get all that right and then you can come and refine and wire and get things perfectly positioned so this one definitely I'll be wiring that back up This one's come off a bit easier than the other one. I think because this one was a bit lankier, maybe. Maybe the sap slowing in this area is better than the other side. So, yeah. When I'm, when I'm going to rewire this tree, it will all be done in copper now. Now it's at the stage where I'll be wiring with copper. Okay, so there's the rough look of you know, the tree before I actually get stuck in it. You can see already much nicer little tree. Get it, get this down here. You can see the deadwood more. I'll put more wire into this to make more twists to match this and put another twist in there. Possibly, you know, that, that's what you want to look at. 
could work, could not work. We, we could chop it all off. We could have just nice smaller gins. You know, at the moment, they're longer. We could maybe have, you know, smaller gins in the future. There's lots of branches here that need to be wired and, and positioned. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm just going to probably, let's have a look. I'm going to take, there's still some wire I'm going to take off. And then I'm going to start wiring the tree up. And I'll come back and show you probably um, some of the wiring process and then the final result. Because I don't want, to, don't want you guys here watching me just cut off wire and put wire back on. Um, you probably just want to come and see the result. Now that you've seen some of the work that you do up front initially, um, wiring's wiring, you know, nothing, nothing new. Um, there. Okay. I reckon it's going to be a little great little tree. Really nice. The pot's pretty good too for it actually. But it might, might suit, this tree might suit in another nice little round or oval pot. Look more interesting. Maybe because it's kind of, kind of moving that direction. Um, a square pot will probably be looking more for an, or, a straighter tree. So I just got to get a pot that, that's suitable for that tree. Maybe not now, maybe not this year, but next year. Um, the, the tree's got very nice Nabari too. Uh, I'll try and show you close up later. But okay, so I'm going to cut away and get, get all this wire off and do some wiring and then I'll come back and show you. Alright, so I've um, started to clean up a lot of the lines here, especially on this branch. I haven't wired this yet. Wired the back. Wired this one up. Wired this one up. And now I've put a bit of heavy gauge on this one just to set the main branch, but I've actually wired this the gin as well with the same bit of wire that goes on this branch and wire this. I just want to show you now, I want to try and use this to play in with the tree. So at the moment it's just sticking out here. Let's try, I want to see if I can get it back. I'm going to use both hands <laughs> in, a, in a second. I'm just trying to think where I want it to come in. Maybe I want it to stick out and move these away. If these are all the way. Um, the thinking is the gin needs to be all playing in this area. Something's happened on this area of the tree and it's coming coming, and it's damaged it. So I'm just going to see if I can twist this up. So it's very flexible still. something in there so this side has been just slightly killed off something happened and killed this branch killed this branch um, and the tree's trying to grow back there so once I'm while it while this out of the way you'll be able to see those gins maybe they'll work maybe they won't but at the moment they're in place and once I finish wiring it off so you can see start hopefully you can see all the layers starting to happen there's a layer here lay in here there's a layer at the back now we'll get all this work done and then this branch here and it's pretty much done um, in about a year's time it should be really coming up really nice um, yeah so I'll continue wiring and I'll just clean the tree up all right so I finished my wiring um, the, the dead wool work's been done and it's most of the wiring's been done the apex has been created it's still a little bit rough but you can probably see what I'm trying to get at very nice over here this is a nice little foliage pad just in here to give that give that balance. Um, starting to, this needs to fill out a bit more up here. One thing I probably I have an issue with is this area here towards the back. It's too much. I think it's a bit too heavy. But I'm not going to do anything just yet with that. Um, I'll probably just re slowly reduce that in time. Maybe back into somewhere around here. Maybe this branch and a smaller branch will fill this area. It's too, I think it's too deep. You can see it's actually gone further than it's just a bit too much a bit too heavy there <clears throat> um, and you can see probably just see it there so if I cut it off now oh, I'm gonna lose a lot of that um, depth I'm just gonna have to wait to see what I can fill it out with in the back there but in, in the meantime you can see this apex is in here now I tried to do layers different layers cleaned up the lines um, this will only get better now in time so it's just now a matter of letting spring come along, letting it grow, letting it flush out, um, see what's see what's going well, see what's alive, see what's moving, um, and then ultimately I think removing that back area there 
and just having a smaller branch in there would be enough for what all I need um, because I just think it's a bit too heavy at the back but for now that's what it is so I really like this tree I think it's going to be a super little tree um, but it's taken time to get to this point it's not an instant this is taking me probably you know you've got to grow the stock first you know that's a number of years and then start to twist and wire up the branches and if you're growing the stock and twisting at the same time saves you saves you effort and time and then now was that a now today it was a position where i can put the final kind of styling onto the tree with the deadwood with the wiring in position and this is ultimately what the tree is going to look like now so but it's taken years to get to that point so don't be so rushed in doing instant bonsai unless you've got a master or a professional who knows um, how to do it instantly for you uh, which is fantastic which i love too anyway but if you're doing it out, your, out yourself take it step by step that's really what i like to know so i hope you guys are enjoying this tree i really love this little guy i think it's going to be a super little tree this really bothers me at the moment but i'm not going to do anything about it right now um, there's this nice branch here at the back that could just fill this area in here maybe and with this branch here you know it could just play the give me the depth that i need and that will be it and then i can remove that whole bit at the back there but at the moment that's the tree um, there you go another little video for you guys to watch um, all i did was wire and position things in in place try and create nice clean under pads um, um, create different layers at different angles so this one's in this position this one's a bit back to there this one's a bit forward but you can try and see there's a little bit of a layer layered look here again it's nice oops there's some you know you'll see some hanging um bit of foliage you can just clean up but yeah i really love it probably want to hide this area here with some foliage eventually it's a bit straight in there but that's the only thing i can see that needs needs um you know tweaking and, and hiding etc drop him down a little bit so you always tweak and tweak and tweak but now i leave this tree alone and let it grow in spring all right guys hope you enjoyed another video um, as always if you haven't subscribed it's free just press the subscribe button click the little bell icon and you get notifications of new videos there's another little guy thanks guys see you next time